This is a short video to show you how I mounted everything. Um, this is a watt meter, you can just disregard that. That's uh, just on there for taking measurements while I'm doing some testing with the, the overall kit. Uh, on the top of the frame here you see the main components of the Wukong M. Those were already on there when I bought this kit, so uh, I didn't have to do anything there. It was nicely wired and organized. Now it did have a bunch of extra cabling right here. I wanted to make space there so I kind of rerouted them, put those extra cables in between the layers. Uh, the top of this frame has a whole bunch of screws jutting out so the uh, data link couldn't fit flat on there so what I did is I took a couple pieces of mounting tape and stacked them on top of each other and that raised the data link above the top of the screw heads. So. Um, one thing that's important here is you do not want anything touching this this right here, this accelerometer. Uh, if anything is rubbing up against that or bumping up against that, it would be bad things. Okay, moving on to the IOSD and the video transmitter. Video transmitter had a really nice flat place right there that it just fit perfectly on. It seemed like it was ideal for that. Also, the FPV camera, there was two screw holes or two holes right here that were perfect for the uh, FPV camera. Um, IOSD is not mounted yet and that's because I don't have my gimbal or the, 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 my full camera kit yet but I do plan to mount that to the bottom of the frame here and the reason that it seemed to be the ideal place is it's got the short power cable and I didn't want it to uh, pull on the rest of the, the wiring kit so that's going to mount to the bottom you've got the uh, video transmitter cable and that's got a splitter right here and basically I cut two six inch servos in half and you've got negative positive video one and video two so one of these leads is just video one and the other lead is video two so one is going to the FPV camera and it's powering it with 12 volts and the other one is going to my GoPro and that uh, is video only okay I think that's it